Hi, I'm Stuart from SFB Leadworks. Welcome to the next job. So today we're going to be doing a small bay roof with um, an expansion joint gutter. Let's go and have a look, see what it's all about. Right, so here we are. As you can see, um, I've already got the copper strip nailed on to form a nice drip edge there. I couldn't get any, any fixings in there because um, the timber had completely rotten away. So it's had to be repaired with some filler and some other bits and pieces. Um, this did originally have lead on, which has all been taken off and um, it's all been redecked. And as you can see, without uncovering it too much at the moment, the building paper is already in place. I've already set out all the wood and they're all screwed down as well. So what we're going to do first without uncovering it all, just in case uh, the weather takes a turn and this, this is an occupied property, so we need to keep it dry all the time. What we're going to do is, is get this, this gutter in first. Um, now there's no steps or anything in this, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to use expansion joint, um, which is going to basically be a piece in the middle there, same on the other end. We get one in the middle there. We've got a small little outlet in place there. So we just got to need to boss a spigot to go into there or weld a spigot for that. Um, and I haven't worked it out yet, but we'll probably end up with two more sections of expansion joint through there. So what I'm going to try to concentrate on today, get all this gutter in, and then tomorrow we can start getting some of these bays in. So um, catch up with you in a bit. Okay, so as you can see now, that's that gutter all in place now, all the way around. A little tiny outlet on the end there and what i was planning on doing was getting all the front down turned into the copper and doing a finished job but i'm a bit concerned about how long this roof's going to be with a plastic sheet over so what i'm decided to do now is to leave the gutter like that and concentrate on getting these bays in just get the undercloaks sorted out just so i can get a little bit more lead on there to get it a bit more in the dry so i think that's what i'm going to concentrate now on so i've just knocked up this first one just down there, that's ready to go in. Put that bay in there, just work my way through there. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit when I get a bit of lid on there. Okay, as you can see, we've now got all of these bays in place, um, which is pretty good, which means if we do get any, any rain, we're, we're pretty sealed, even though it's not dressed down into the gutter or anything, it'll be enough to keep any rain out, which is quite good for keeping it all weathered. Um, so I think what I'm gonna concentrate now on is turning down this gutter into the copper drip edge try and get all this down um, once that's down we'll have a few gussets and stuff to weld in on corners and stuff like that um, then we can concentrate in finishing off these bays and uh, putting a new flashing in so i'll catch up with you in a bit okay so as you can see now um, all this gutter has now been turned into this copper drip edge um, i've just got a few welds to do where it comes around on the front here um, some have been done, but I've got a few scattered around. Um, also, as you can see, all the bays have now been trimmed off. All the splash laps have been trimmed to 50 mil. I'll just angle it a bit out the front there, just give it a little bit more, a bit more cover. Um, so that's all done. So the stage we're at now is basically um, a few welds to do on this on this flat roof. Got a few corners. Got one there, one there. Um, it's basically every corner. So we have one there as well. Um, one more there, one there, one there. So what I'm going to concentrate now on is getting all of those welded, welded up. Um, and then we'll finish off this gutter, get that completely welded as well when the missing gussets, etc. Um, and that'll just leave the, the flash in. Um, now this gutter is existing and to be honest with you, it could have done with some more outlets um, but we couldn't change it because it is basically it is what it is um, so unfortunately they have only got this small little outlet and it is taking a lot of water um, but because this roof has now been raised luckily we do have 100 mil where we're sort of like 95 mil upstand and we're sort of like We've got an 85 mil downstand, so it's just it's just all right not to have a splash lap. If you only need 75 mil 
on the vertical so we got we got we have got enough cover there but um it could have done with some more outlets in there really but um that's what we've got so um what we're going to do now then is um as i say just concentrate on getting these gussets welded up and um and then we can do some flushing okay so if you're struggling doing your vertical welding an easy tip that i find is to actually start from the top weld down and then come back up again so what we'll do we just shave hook this up just to clean it up a little bit because it has been oiled and it's been sat here for a while so we just freshen that up just make the lead easier to stick if it's nice and clean So that's nicely shave hooked now. We've got our sticks already shaved. These are quite thin. I find it, I do find it easier with a thinner stick. So let's light up our torch. Settling first. Introduce the oxygen. Right, that's a bit hot bollocks of things. Let's calm that down a little bit. Right. So, getting your stick, you start from the top, just work our way down, let's, see, let's have a little feel for that, that's quite a good temperature. This is actually a bit hot. So what I'll do, when we come back up, I'm gonna cool that down a little bit. Gives me more, more time to work with the flame. Right. So then what you do, you just come back up again on yourself. You can see this is quite a, a low flame so it gives me quite a long time to leave the torch on for without it falling off. And then we have it. Okay, I've just finished working on those last gussets. So let's go and have a look at this flashing. It's the last thing to do now. Um, don't think it's gonna take too much to get out, to be honest with you. That's pretty solid in there. Some of it is falling out there. So um, let's get this changed and uh, catch up with you in a bit. Okay, so as you can see, that's that flashing all, uh, all in place now. I've literally just finished welding over the last cap there, over, over one of the rolls. Um, so that's it now. All that's left to do is to uh, give it one final coat of oil and um, job done. Okay, so I've just given that now the final coat of oil and it really does darken things up again. Um, brings it all back to looking nice and sharp. Okay, so that's job done. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. 
um, just helps the uh, channel grow. Uh, please follow me on Instagram at SLB Leadworks. Um, sorry it's taken so long since my last video, but um, I've been working on some really good stuff. I'm really excited about um, getting the next one out there. Um, it's almost ready, so um, please hang around for that. Um, thanks for watching and um, see you in the next. Cheers.